welcome everyone. Hope you're doing well today. Marshall here with the Plugs Podcast, a show where we share encouraging advice and spiritual stories, anything that we can to help you have a better day and move forward with the things that you need to do. Today we're going to talk about friends, friendship. I'm sure we have a lot of questions out there, such as like, what do you do in a friendship? How do you keep friends around? How do you pick up a friend? <laughs> How do you pray for a friend? Well, hopefully we can answer some of those questions today. And, um, you know, since we're talking about friends and friendship, what uh, better person to have than my best friend, my dear and lovely wife, Tanya. Tanya, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. I'm really glad to have you on the show with us. Um, the podcast has been going for almost about a year now, and she's been working behind the scenes. So it's such a joy to have Miss Tanya here to talk to us about friends <laughs> so besties that's right besties <laughs> so i you know i i think before we uh started the broadcast we were speaking about foundation and, and you were telling me that you know one of your biggest foundations in, in friendship was just p pretty much just being yourself it sounds pretty right. simple yep being yourself um being real with yourself being honest with yourself so you can also be real and honest with your friends um getting to know people, um, you really want to be honest with them because you can end up being in the wrong crowd, trying to fit in with the wrong people. Um, so, you know. yeah, like, so like if you're in high school and you see guys walk by with a cowboy hat and, you know, the next day you, you show up with a cowboy hat, but you're not necessarily a cowboy, but right. it's not going to work out, huh? Right. You're not going to attract the friends you want because you're not necessarily a cowboy. Right. You just want those, you know, five close friends, then try to fit in with the, all, all the different groups and wherever, in school, in your community, you know, at, at your job. You definitely just want to be yourself and have the people you, who you are, attra be attracted to you. That's right. Otherwise, it's, I mean, it's kind of hard to relate with people around you. Um, and not only that, it's just not, it's not authentic. So completely understand that and, and when you when you're you know doing your best to be yourself I, I guess the the main principle there is integrity right. and being honest to yourself being honest to the um, people around you also if you want to relate it to a bible verse um mm -hmm. i have first corinthians 5 uh, i'm sorry 15 33 um, do not be misled bad company corrupts good character mm -hmm. so you don't want to be you don't want to be corrupted by somebody that you try to be friends with because you weren't being true to yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're trying to be a thug, but you're not necessarily a thug that day. Exactly. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Tell us that verse again. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Mm, it says it all right there, folks. So... And, you know, be yourself. And encouragement, encouragement, always encouraging the people around you, enc encouraging them in their, in their gifts. In their gifts, that's right. Encouraging one another with um, works, with talents. Um, if a friend is having trouble, you know, finding their niche for their, you know, for a job, or they just they want to get better at singing or beatboxing or drawing. Always encourage them to practice, always encourage them whether they are not good at it. Um, because even though they might not be good at it today, a week or two from now they can be getting better. Whatever is on their heart, encourage them to do that. That's right. And I'd say, you know, other than encouragement, you just call, call your friend up or when you're with your friend, ask them questions. Say, hey, how's that project coming along? Or, you know, how's that drawing coming along? Um, and, and just those simple little things help each other create more action. I, I know we all don't like the word accountability, but when you ask that question to someone, you're not necessarily like, you know, forcing it upon them or anything like that, but it is a form of accountability. And I, I tell you, in, in the friendships that I've had, um, when, when my friends reach out to me and they ask me a question, you know, I, I, just, I get off the phone and I can't stop thinking about the question they ask me, and it creates action. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, even... In the Bible, it tells us, um, encourage one another. First Theologians 5.11, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. Wow. So, you know, it's important to encourage one another in anything that you're doing. 
many activities. If, you know, if we're failing, just still encourage them to keep going on, to keep moving. Absolutely, and in, in, in everything, everything that we do, um, you know, even if it's the slightest, smallest little thing in, in life. Right. Um, and keep um, encouraging each uh, other. I guess that would go into also talking to each other about your goals and dreams. Mm-hmm. Um, that's important. Talking about goals will keep you accountable of what's going on that week or the month. Um, talking about your dreams help each other, you know, um, Keep asking each other questions. Right. Because goals and dreams are constantly changing. Yeah, especially dreams and goals are constantly changing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have a dream of having four dogs, right? And then (laughs) tomorrow you're like, no, that was a horrible dream. (laughs) That's good. (laughs) I I think the the biggest thing um, in all relationship is just to have grace and mercy upon each other, you know, as Christ does upon with us and... And in all situations, be um, in a forgiving heart and have a humbleness about each other. Because, um, you know, it could be really easy for our egos or for us to be self-centered. And um, I, I think, you know, in, you know, just to give you guys a message, in, in my relationships and my friendships in life, I, I feel like that's been my core. Right. Um, you know, any time when it comes back, just do your best to be a leader. You know? I mean we've had so many years together to encourage one another to talk about goals talk about dreams that it's like become embedded it's like normal it's It's not like a daily thing it's a daily thing it's Mm -hmm. just something that we do that's like eating and that's how normal it is Mm -hmm. because we both have just learned each other and learned you know when it's time to talk i don't it's just everyday talk now is our goals, our dreams, and where how we're, we're going to get there, where we're going, right? Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, a friend is supposed to love at all times. And that's another thing that you and I have learned over over the course of our marriage. I mean, being married is, you're pretty much, a, you have to be a friend first. Absolutely. Number one. Mm-hmm. Number one. In any relationship. You have to be a friend first. And not just you really have to understand that person. Not just in the beginning of the relationship, but every day. Every day. <laughs> you have day. to be a friend first. Yes. <laughs> a friend first. Um another another topic because uh Marshall was saying that people might not have any friends. Um, it's probably because maybe people aren't putting themselves out there because maybe they're hurt. Um, maybe friends have, you know, left them or maybe friends are passed away and maybe they just don't know how to go about finding friends. Um, so that would, again, that would go back to, um, God and prayer, um, praying for friends. I know I, I've always struggled with having close friends. Um, because sometimes I feel like I am myself a lot and maybe not a lot of people can handle who I am sometimes, I think. <laughs> Marshall definitely can. That's why he's definitely, I'm married to Marshall. He definitely can handle me. But a lot of times I really have to, um, you know, pray to God and ask him, you know, where are these close friends of mine that I'm supposed to have? And I have to pray and you know, seek these things out, seek, seek these people out. Mm-hmm. And I just encourage all of you to pray and seek out the friends that are right for you, the ones that are that are going to be themselves, mm-hmm. the ones that are going to encourage you, and the ones that are going to talk about their goals, your goals, their dreams, your dreams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, I have a, you know, both of us, we have a real good friend, Chris. He's the, he's the, the partner host of this plugs podcast and he also runs the website heavyweightbeats.com um but yeah i, I could I, I remember those days before meeting chris and just praying for for this right here for what we're doing that's right <laughs> not realizing that yes. it was a podcast but we're praying for someone to help us have projects and, and do missions around the world and and chris is in our life and the lord brought him here and, and yes that was through prayer for sure I, I definitely, definitely reached prayer. out and, and got on my knees and and prayed for a friend like Chris, for sure. That's right. And definitely, we're definitely blessed with the friends that God has given us over the years. Um, 
and we definitely have a lot of laughter. That's another point I have on here is uh, be sure to laugh with each other. Um, having a sense of humor is so important in marriage or in friendship. Um, just being light with your words and just not being serious all the time. Um, we've had so much fun with Chris. Um, it's been a wonderful, wonderful year getting to know each other and cooking and um, playing games. And it's just been such a wonderful time. It has. Mm -hmm. has. You had a verse, right? It was in Proverbs 17, 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. tell us about that. That was a nice verse. Um, yeah, a friend loves at all times. Wow. Yep. I had uh, mentioned it earlier, but I didn't say the verse. <laughs> I didn't say the verse number. Proverbs. Which, Proverbs 17, 17, 17, 17, which is awesome to be a double digit there. Two, two of the same numbers, huh? Mm -hmm. 17, 17 must be two of the same people. Oh, yeah. You know, yes. a friend loves at all times. Yeah. So we should all be loving each other at all times. Yeah, 17 um, biblically means victory. <laughs> double the victory guys there you go <laughs> that's right double if, you're, the victory. if you're loving a friend and they're loving you you have double the victory double the victory in christ amen right and um it's important for us to love each other and it's, it might be hard at some times but love is not always like fun and beautiful things it's also um being honest and telling that friend you know what they need to be doing um, if they're slacking, if they're um, doing something that you don't see as good in your eyes, it, it's important to let them know you, that you love them and that this is why you're telling them this is wrong or you're doing this, you know, you're, you should be doing this instead of this. Like it's not wrong to tell a friend that something is going on. That's also loving a friend. It's a very good point, Tanya. I feel like that in t today in these times, 2021, um, we're possibly lacking that type of leadership in yeah. our friendship. And leadership, yeah. that's right. So, so Leading you know, them. Yeah, holding them accountable. If you love them, you're going to tell them not to run off the cliff, right? Exactly. And that's what that's exactly what you're talking about. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. I'm glad you're talking about that. And, I, I, you know, nine years being with each other, I mean, <laughs> I mean, even we know it's been tough. It's been tough, you know, holding each other accountable or, or you know, that's right. challenging each other. So we're talking about this to you guys because we understand how challenging it is, how tough it is, but we want to encourage you to be a leader. Be a leader in your friendship. Be a leader in your life. And what that means is safety first. If you see something, say something. Um, don't let your friend run off the cliff because you didn't open your mouth because you didn't warn them. You didn't, you didn't love them in the moment. That's right. Um, also, you know, remind each other about prayer. You know, remind them that God is in control. Um, because, you know, as friends, we come to each other with the impossible. You know, we come to each other with things that we seem are the most hurtful or, or the most great or our most greatest news. Um, it's just we have to remind each other that we that God is um, that we praise him in the moment of good and bad and to pray with each other and to pray for um, any situation that you're in. Um, like I have to remind a friend and Marshall has helped me with this and that if you have a problem with somebody, if you really have a problem um, either with a family member, a friend, um, a spouse, go to God. Go to God with that problem. Go to God before you go to anybody else. Mm -hmm. Have him look at it. Have him evaluate it. Because mm -hmm. um, most likely he is going to speak to that person's heart. You pray and you will see a change. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's not going to do you any good to, to go and, and try to work things out yourself. You're not God. Um, and it's as simple as humbling yourself, getting on your knees, you know, going to, going before him and saying, hey, listen, here's my problem. Um, here's the situation. Can you please intervene? Let your will be done. And I, I guarantee you, <laughs> it's crazy how fast it is, but... I don't know what the Lord does. He, he just does something to our hearts. And like you said, He is in complete control. And um, it, it's, it's good to have that knowledge in your relationship with your friends um, at all times, no matter what, how hard the times that you're going through, to know that He is always in control. Um, the Father is always 
in control no matter what. So that being said, do your best to forgive each other in the moment. Do your best to remind each other and love each other in the moment. Like Tanya said, that God is in control. What is there to worry about? What is there to get upset about? Because when all this fades away, his word will still be valid. His word will still be Amen. working. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So it's so very important to uh, remind each other often to pray and go to God with our with our issues, even though we're coming to each other as friends. Um, that's the most important reminder of each other because we forget we get lost in anger, we get lost in excitement that you know we think we have control but we really you know we don't there's just and we shouldn't because when we try to take control that's when things get out of hand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're gonna have front you have friends they call you up they want to vent they want to gossip or anything like that and you just gotta um learn to take a, a step forward and to be a leader in the situation and do your best to lead the conversation into a positive way um you know to that's right yep be a leader it goes back to honestly being a leader. Um, being if a leader. There's, if your friend, if you want to see your friend act a certain way, do anything, you got to be the first one to do it. Mm -hmm. That's if right. If you want to see your friend do better mm -hmm. at working or you want to see your friend go to school or you want to see your friend do like their talents better, you have to be the one to do it first. You have mm -hmm. to be the leader in that. And um, honestly, that's helped me do a lot of the things I've started to do, like go to school and um, paint or learn new things. I, I want to be a leader for friends. That's awesome. That's awesome. So ultimately, you, you're doing these things for fun, but you want to empower and inspire action. Yes. That's, that's right. That's mm -hmm. for your friends. That's right, for my friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what friends do. Without friends, I mean, where would we be? Not doing much. <laughs> <laughs> the last verse we have on here is Colossians 3.13. And it's bear with each other and forgive one another. Um, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Wow. Wow. No matter, no matter what the cause, no matter what your friends, you know, have, no matter what they've done to you, right. forgive them for what they not know what they do. Right. Forgive them. Show yes. the mercy. Show the love. Show mercy. Bear with each other. Mm. That's such a such a powerful verse. Thank you, Tanya. It's such a blessing to Thank have you, you here tonight. Can't wait to have you again. No telling what we're going to talk about in the future. Everyone that's listening, really happy to have you here. Make sure you check us out at theplugspodcast.com. If you're looking to get involved, send us a note. We're really happy to hear from you. Hope you're all doing well. Make friends. Say your prayers.